Hello there, Chris Blydenberg with Robert Slack LLC. And I can't be more excited to show you this property. We are in the heart of Citrus County. We're in Brentwood, which is one of the villages of Citrus Hills. The address here is 2710 North Brentwood Circle, the Canto, Florida. This is a three bedroom, two bath with a den. It's got a hot tub built in the backyard. Beautiful part of Brentwood here, middle of everywhere, just off of 486. This place is absolutely fabulous. I cannot wait to show you inside. We're going to have the car pass behind me, and then I'm going to show you the street first. All right. So, to the right of the driveway there, it takes you to the back of Brentwood. Brentwood's kind of like a loop. I don't know how familiar you are with this place here. Basically, there's one giant loop around the edge of the property, and there's little cul-de-sacs that branch in and out from there. So, if you head to the right of your driveway, you're going to head back into the back quarter of Brentwood. There's a golf course back there, the amenities. Uh, the nursing facility and whatnot. There's a barrier here at this point that splits the road in half. And then if you go down to the left, it takes you back out the short way to the front of Brentwood out to 486, which connects you back to Lacanto. There's actually a garbage truck behind me, so we're gonna head inside. Excuse the noise for just a moment. Anyway, the driveway for this house is gorgeous. The landscaping is meticulously maintained. Some beautiful trees out here. I've actually lived in Brentwood. About a decade ago, I lived in the townhomes up towards the front of the community here. And it's just a fantastic place. It's quiet, it's calm, it's peaceful. Everybody smiles and waves. Everybody's happy to be here. There's access to the school system. The buses do come through every day for kids of all ages. But again, even as a family community, it's just amazingly quiet and beautiful here. So, uh, but yeah, that lot next door is currently a vacant lot. It could be sold off and developed, but that's not a part of the sale here. But at least, you know, for the time being, there's nobody there. Across the way, it's nice and quiet as well. Driveway here has got parking for at least six cars, allowing you to turn around. Two-car garage over there. Nice screened-in porch right here. Just, just grand atrium screened-in porch. Absolutely love it. Nice tile floors in here. A beautiful sitting area. Again major height up there very very nice all right let's head inside there's a mixture of Wood light tile and standard square tile throughout the house. It is done very nicely. But again, we're standing here in the center at the foyer. Again, major vaulted ceiling up there with recessed lighting. Beautiful door. So, facing into the house, if we go to the right, we're going to hit the primary suite. If we go to the left, we're going to hit the den, the kitchen, the garage, and the second and third official bedroom. Straight ahead, we have our living room and our enclosed lanai. And then over there, we have our formal dining room. Beyond that, of course, you have your pool area. So let's start by going to the right. And we'll check out the primary suite first. Again, nice high ceilings throughout. Got a tile floor here in the primary. There's a king size bed in here and there's plenty of room on both sides. And of course there is the adjoining primary bathroom. Two sinks, a sitting area for prep, plenty of cabinet space down below, a massive mirror the length of the wall there. We got subsequent recessed lighting, there's even a fan in here. Massive walk-in closet with a pocket sliding door. I like pocket sliders. So convenient. Big old massive walk-in closet. 
plenty of room in here. Got a large soaking tub. Again. Then over here you have your walk-in shower. I love the stained glass in here too. Glass window divider there between the shower and the tub. There's glass there. Your commode is hidden back here. There's even storage built on the back of this door here. That's a cute little hidden feature. linen closet nice brass fittings on the faucet there and on the drain spout Heading out of the primary, back into the center of the house. Again, there's your front entryway. There's your living room. Over here through these, uh, what are you gonna call those blinded window French doors, is a den slash office slash whatever else you wanna call it. Not technically a bedroom because there's no closet. Some have used it as such, but in this case, it is the office for the den it was designed to be. Got these nice French style doors here. So it does allow for privacy in here. That's kind of nice. <clears throat> now let's look at your living room. Got plenty of space in here. You have triple sliders going out to the enclosed lanai. Got the elevated tray ceiling in here. This beautiful semi coat, semi uh, rounded corner there to divide the room up. And then heading down from the den is this short little hallway which transitions you into the kitchen. The kitchen has beautiful wood cabinets, this very nice uh, stone countertop. This backsplash is really nice. Got this copperish looking faucet here. And sink. Cabinets and cabinets and more cabinets. Good thing about being in the kitchen here, of course, with this whole open floor plan, you can have guests here at the bar, you can have guests in the dining room table, in the living room, even in the enclosed and eye out there, and you are still a part of the action. You can still entertain while you're in the kitchen. Pretty nice. All right. Through the kitchen into the utility room. Utility room's got plenty of cabinets in it again. A wash sink. Got counter space in here. More storage. And then beyond that is our garage, which I'm going to call as a two plus garage. It has your 
two car door, parking for at least two vehicles in here. However, beyond the garage door, there's still plenty of room. And I'm gonna go back here so you can see these concrete slabs that are in here. And there's three full slabs here just going to that wall, too deep. The doors are two cars. So there's an entryway to go to the front of the driveway through the door. There's another uh, partial slab back there where the AC handle or the water heater and electrical panel are, and a door to go out to the back from there. So highly accessible, lots of space in here, plenty of uses. You can park cars and still have storage or a workshop, whatever you desire. Plenty of room here for that. From the garage, through the utility room, through the kitchen. I'm gonna go back the way I came. Into the living room. Just so I can show you the transition into the dining room. And we got the bar top there. Nice open dining room here. More sliders hitting out to the lanai. You got a little almost bay window sitting effect over here. It's kind of nice. And plenty of room for large family, friends, guests, room to entertain. Down the hallway past the kitchen, we'll enter the guest bath, which also serves as a pool bath. This door here leads out to your pool. Well, hot tub in this case. If I can get it to open for me. Oh, there we go. Live TV. Anyway, leads out here to your back patio and hot tub area. Next stop would be what we're going to call bedroom two, currently being utilized as an office or a setting space, but it is a bedroom. If you wanted to, you could take these shelving units off the wall there and open the room back up for a bedroom. It's got your reaching closet there. But this would be bedroom two. It's got carpeted floors in bedroom two and three. A nice uh, closet here at the end of the hallway for storage. Across from bedroom two, we'll call this bedroom three. Definitely enough room in here for the queen size beds and dressers and whatnot. Nice view out the window there. Again, a reach in closet there. Heading through the dining room out into the enclosed lanai. Again, just a massive space, great for entertaining, plenty of room for many people to sit out here. They have glass windows with screens installed all around, so you can open that up, let the air in when it's cooler, keep the air out when it's hotter. Got blinds there. Nobody behind you because of the woods is the end of the property for Brentwood. You got a double slider with a screen to the back door so you can let your air in through here as well. There's the screen here. From the primary, there's a double slider. From the living room, a triple slider that pockets away. And from the dining room, a double slider that pockets away. There's cable hookups and electrical hookups in here, ceiling fans, recessed lighting, and a recently installed heat and air unit. So you actually control the temperature in this room year round with that device. Again, all these windows open up. Big room for entertaining all year round, all weather.
I'll step out here to the back. And this is your outdoor deck, your pool deck. Again, plenty of space for entertaining. Beautiful looking hot tub with a waterfall. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I see eight jets going around the tub and the waterfall itself, which is probably where I'd be sitting. I love the two planters that are in here too. Looks really nice. So again, that will be the door to the pool bath and the guest bedroom bath that was over there. That screen porch, of course, leads you out to one side of the backyard. That screen door leads you out to the other side of the backyard. See what a cute little planter out here. Get some visual effect. Ground slopes ever so slightly to the back, but again, it is the edge of the property for Brentwood, so there's nobody behind you. Well, I hope you've enjoyed the tour of 2710 North Brentwood Circle here in the villages of Citrus Hills. Three bedroom, two bath with a nice looking hot tub, a den or office suite, plenty of room for entertaining, the climate controlled uh, lanai in here. Just a beautiful house and beautiful location in a fabulous community right here in the center of Citrus County. If you're interested in this or any of the properties, call me and reach out to me. Happy to talk to you again soon. Hope you enjoyed the tour. Have a great day.